In this package is over 100 new baseball cards for my personal collection coming from Com C. I can't wait to show you guys what I got in today's order. What is going on guys? It's Eagle Man here. Welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be opening up, as I said, a package from Com C. I love using their service. I always buy cards and sell cards on their service. All these cards, about 100 cards in total, are for my personal collection. But what's going to be different about this order as opposed to other orders as I open up the box here is that this package will contain not just Bob Feller cards as you know obviously from the background I'm a big Bob Feller collector I try and collect as many Bob Feller baseball cards as I can but I also collect like Cleveland Indians and Cleveland Guardians cards that I think are cool so this package will contain some cards that you know reflect my interest in <laughs> Cleveland baseball but also some set filler cards yep you can see the invoice right here a hundred items with about three hundred sixty eight dollars so pretty cheap honestly for most of these orders but here's one of the items right here actually we'll get to that in just a second and we'll pull out the big box they do a fantastic job packaging it's just a lot of packaging all at once so we'll take a look at our first item here this is an oversized item uh, as you can see it's one of those big turkey reds this is of bob feller let's get a better look at this see what i mean like fantastic packaging all around they got the painter's tape going on they got sturdy cardboard backing everything everything is top loaded and penny sleeved if it can be and they always tape off the top of the top loader if it's oversized. Com C does a phenomenal job at packaging their things. And so that's one thing I really appreciate it. See, look at that. It's just a little protective sleeve they put over there. They put all these receipts that they show you the exact card or item that you purchased on the site, which is also really cool. Here we go. That's a better look at it. The Bob Feller. This is from the 90s. Uh, 1985 to 1997. Press steel grates. So... Large oversized card there, love it. And we're gonna be seeing a lot of these receipts, so they kind of get annoying, and they, well, they very much get annoying and in the way. But now we'll take a look at the main box here, full of items. We got a couple of loose items here, and then a box. This box says 96 items in it. And we'll take a look at these loose items first. We'll go one by one here. This is actually a big card. This was, I think this is the most, might, one of the most, more expensive cards in the order. They put an extra top loader in there for me. This is a mini, red mini. From Alan and Ginter 2022. This is from Alan and Ginter X, actually. This is the Red Mini Parallel. And it's numbered out of five. Hand numbered out of five. I mean, that's a cool card. I don't usually collect minis. So when I do collect minis, they're usually pretty cool and elite. So that's a nice one. That's numbered out of five. So that's a that's a, we're starting off with a bang there. I love it. And we got another one over here. Like I said, it's not gonna be all Bob Feller cards, and this one is no exception to that. This is a gold 2020 tops gold parallel of the Cleveland Indians team card. So I've been working on completing the entire gold team card set of the Cleveland Indians slash Guardians. So 2020 is off the list. They're not a big card. And then we get an autograph here. As you can see, the background is all autographs for uh, for the setup for today. This is another cut autograph. Yeah, this is a cool one. Cool cut autograph there from 2012 Leaf Cut Signatures. I'm not a big fan of the cut autographs personally, um, but you can get them for pretty cheap, especially if they're from like Leaf or something. I don't think this one is numbered. It might be numbered. I'll take uh, this this other receipt out here. Um, doesn't look like it's numbered there. Yeah, it, it's the cut signatures are weird because you can get them from like blank checks or from like weird photos, and it doesn't show the whole photo. So cut signatures really aren't my thing, but that's still a cool one. It's an autograph, and I will never complain about getting an autograph. Another really good thing about getting from Com C is you get fresh supplies. It is a way to get fresh supplies. Like, yeah, the team bags are kind of dinged and bent, but you can use them for shipping purposes for selling your own cards. And then the top loaders, obviously, they're good quality top loaders, not scratched up for the most part. So you get sleeves, top loaders, team bags, all that good stuff. It's a win-win it's a for you. Here we go with the main box here, 96 items in here. Hopefully go fairly quick. Again, they do everything extra. Putting extra penis in here so nothing is shaking around. I mean, that's just fantastic. We'll take a, a chunk of cards out here. All right, here we go. With our first few chunk of cards, I'm going to throw some peanuts to the side here. And we'll go. <laughs> the receipts are just wicked. Here we go. Uh, this is an old school one. This is from the 80s. Yep, 84, sport design. Again, like I said, I'm trying to collect as many Bob Feller cards as I can. So from the very, very low end to the high end stuff is what I'm going to get. This is a cool one. This is numbered out of 88. As you can see in the bottom there, 88 from 08. Upper Deck Gaudi. This is the mini green back. So the back is green. There's all sorts of variations with this one. Not my, not one of my favorite sets, but it's still a cool parallel. This is from Ultimate from the early 2006. Yep. 06 out of 7.99. That's just the base. Uh, this is a cool one here. This is a dual relic. Ben Sheets, Bob Feller. What an odd combination of players to put in there. It's numbered out of 25, though. 
And the thing I like about this one, especially, it's from 2005. And we get two receipts in here that I have to pick out. Uh, it says here that it was an authentic piece of pants worn by Bob Feller in an official Indians MLB game. So, you know, you don't really see that type of statement in nowadays from relics that they have of, of older players, especially. So that's a cool one there. And you also have Ben Sheets in there, who was a solid pitcher for a little bit. But it's obviously just got that card for Bob Feller. Here we go with another gold team card, 2022 tops. Another gold card for us. Here's a cool one from Alan Ginter Chrome. Bob Feller, this is the blue refractor out of 150. It's a cool set. I would like to complete the run here. I'm getting some really good uh, good parallels here for the rainbow for 2022 Allen and Ginter. Here we go. We got a Tops Now card. I usually don't buy Tops Now cards, but um, this is a cool one of Stephen Kwan, and it was also really cheap. First player since 1901 to reach base 15 times in first four games. Uh, the reason I got this one, like I said, I don't usually get Tops Now cards, but as a Guardians fan, I wasn't super optimistic about the 2022 season. And so early in April, we had a guy, Stephen Kwan, uh, you know, we got called up. He's a rookie. He just went nuts in those first first uh, couple games there. And so I just remember watching that, had a good time, good memory watching and being optimistic about Stephen Kwan. And, you know, now he's a solid guy. He's our leadoff hitter for the Guardians. So that's a cool tough knock card for me. Again, really, really cheap. So I didn't mind picking that up for my PC. Uh, which one was this? I think this is another uh, Hall of Fame baseball. Yep, it's numbered out of 550, though. So pretty cool. We get, oh, this is a cool one here. Gold rookie card of Andres Jimenez. So another gold card for my collection. You know, I collect the gold cards as well. So my my collection, my collecting habits are focused on Bob Feller's number one. Number two is like Cleveland Indians, Cleveland Guardians, team cards, and then uh, gold cards in general. So any sort of gold card I can find, I like to purchase. So that's just a cool Andres Jimenez rookie gold card. Got it very, very cheap. Got a nice offer for it. So that's a nice one to add to the collection. Uh, this is a 52 red, 51 redback reprint from 97. So base card insert there. This is a cool one. This is a blue parallel, I believe. Yep, Tops Update. Diamond Great Die Cuts Blue. That's a cool one. I actually really like the blue. Good shine to it as well. Here's another Tops Now card. This is a cool one. I paid a little bit of money for this one. This was cool. One of my favorite moments ever uh, as a fan of the Indians Guardians was their 22-game win streak. So had to pick up another Tops Now card. I purchased a Tops Now card when the streak happened of, uh, I don't remember which one it was. I have to go find it in the collection, but uh, I didn't have this one yet, which is a really cool one. So definitely like that one a lot. Here's another Bob Feller. It's numbered out of 50, so pretty low numbered one. Uh, these ones go for really cheap. This is from 2014 Hall of Fame. This is the Red Shield, again, out of 50. And this whole set is just incredibly cheap. So it's a low number. It's out of 50. So I uh, got that one for very, very cheap. This one, however, was not cheap. I remember getting this one. This is 2004 Top Tribute. It's just the base Top Tribute card. I mean, fantastic shine to it, but for some reason, these early 2000s tribute cards, they're tough to get good prices on. Here's what I'm trying to complete the true rainbow of. I do own the printing plate for this one, the black printing plate. So this is numbered out of 10. This is 2015 Panini Cooperstown Hall of Fame Chronicles. This is the green out of 10, so really low numbered out of 10. We're doing a really good job uh, at working towards that one. And here's just a regular uh, base gold card. Again, I love the gold card, so if I can find any cheap... Um, on Com C, I usually pick it up. That's a great size more there. So I get another Indian, which is also really cool. We'll pick out another stack here. So we've got a Tops Museum collection. This is from 2013, I think. Yep, 2013. This is numbered out of 424. This is the gold. This is the copper. Wow, that looks gold to me. Does that look copper to you? I guess it kind of does. Still pretty cool. I like those. Uh, this is a very cool one. Very excited to get this one. 2003 Tops Gallery Currency Connection. So it's got a 1945 U.S. Mercury dime, which was the year Bob Feller retired, or I guess returns from the U.S. Navy. So 1945 dime <laughs> in the card there, which is pretty cool. I really don't know much about coins. I know coins are very, very collectible, and they can go for a lot of value just like baseball cards can. So not sure if this coin is of value of anything. Not sure if they would put a valuable coin in there, but it's from 1945, so... I'm guessing the material of the coin is at least of some value. But that's a cool one. It's a hard hard card to get, so I'm glad I got that one. Here's a relic. I think I accidentally purchased this one. I think I already own this card, so either way, it's still a relic. And it's from the early 2000s, 2007 actually. So, and then the back there, they guarantee that I was actually worn by him. So it's still pretty cool. Now how about this one? 1990 Tops Dick Schofield. 
you're probably thinking, why would you buy a, a Junk Wax Common card? This is the last card I needed to hand complete my 1990 Tops set. So with the addition of this card to my collection, I've now completed the entire 1990 Tops set, which is uh, pretty cool. So we got a Gypsy Queen. I think it's just a base. Yep, just a base 2014 Gypsy Queen there. Here's an Upper Deck Origins from 2005. This is just the base. Tops Fire. I'm working on this rainbow. Almost done with it. This is the green out of 199. I think I overpaid for this one, but I'm just very motivated to complete that rainbow for some reason. Uh, this one, not a fan of this insert. This is the Marks of Fame from 05 Absolute. I mean, just look how tiny the photo of Bob Feller is, then look how large this open space is. Like, just looks like something should be going here. Uh, numbered out of 150, though, it's just not really a, a good eye appeal card. This is from 08. Donruss Threads. This is Century Legends. Not numbered, just a regular insert there. Uh, this is the Distinguished Service insert from Tops. This is from 2009, I think. 2007, my bad. Uh, that set featured a bunch of uh, baseball players that were serving in the military. So, obviously, Bob Felder's in that set, which is pretty cool. And then we got a Upper Deck UD Authentics. Just, that's just the base card, I think. Not numbered. Yeah, not numbered, just the base card. Tops Heritage, this is from the National Convention, I believe, 2007. Yeah, 2007 Tops Heritage National Convention VIP. So this is a bit more rare, not numbered or anything, but it's still, it's just a sick design. Really cool heritage card there, feller. Love that one a lot. Here's another gold card from 2018. I also think I double purchased this one by accident, but it's a gold card. I don't mind having a couple extra gold cards of this. They're also like 40 to 50 cents, so it's not really a loss if I purchase a couple of them. It's cool in there, 2018 Tops Gold. We've got, this is number out of 550. This is the Baseball Chronology. I think this completes the rainbow, excluding the one of ones, because I own the relics. Actually, I don't own the autograph of this set, if there is an autograph. But uh, yeah, good shine to that one. I love that one a lot. Here's a cool insert. Never seen this insert before. It's from Fleer Ultra, when it was a game, 2003. Just a cool insert. Really unique one of there. Uh, great set, by the way. This is a great set. 2003 Donner's Classics Legends. So numbered out of 1,500, so higher print run, but that's cool. Love the gold on it. It's just a good-looking card all around. Here's another gold, just a regular gold as Drupal Cabrera and a Cleveland Indian at that, numbered out of 2012. We have a Donruss Portraits, or yeah, Donruss Studio Portraits. It's numbered out of 50, so low-numbered stuff, but this set is huge. It is massive, the amount of variations and parallels in it. So I'm just slowly chipping away at getting these. They're all really low number, too. They're number like 50 and 30 and 20 and 10. Weird serial numbering to them, but there's there's tons of these cards in that set. Um, here's another base card that I'm going to be using to complete the set. So I'm working on the 2002 Tops base set. This one puts me now four cards away from completing the set. So almost there. We have another mini here. 2019 Tops Allen & Ginter X mini. Pretty cool. And we have an 06 opening day, Derek Jeter. So this completes the 06 opening day set. That set is now complete for myself. And we've got numbered out of 50 here, Panini Diamond Kings. This is the Diamond King, yep, Hall of Fame, Diamond Kings Blue. Out of 50, so a low number there. And we got another gold card, Cleveland Indians team card here. Not really a team card. This is from, yeah, from the base set. But sorry, camera shut off there. But it's got two uh, Indians there, Sizemore and Aaron Boone, so... Pretty cool, as we we always love the gold cards. It's one of my favorite things about collecting. This will be a longer video, so I appreciate you guys sticking around. And if you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button because we do all sorts of sports card content on the channel. So here we go. Looks like we got uh, some relics coming up here. This is a cool relic. So we got playoff prime cuts from 2008. Again, those those earlier relics from like the the early two early and later 2000s. This is number 49, by the way. So really low numbered stuff. The enclosed piece of material was personally worn and used by Bob Feller in professional baseball game. I mean. That's a guarantee that he wore it in there. You don't see those types of guarantees uh, in, in Relics kind of way. Here's a Century Legends. We just saw the base card Century Legends. This is numbered out of 100. This is, what parallel is this one? Century Proof parallel. Here's a cool one. Numbered out of 84, so pretty low numbering. It's a nice Elite Extra Edition from 04. Nice red die cut there. Good shine to it as well. Here's a 52 reprint. This is from the 80s, I think. No, 2019, excuse me. 2019 tops, iconic card reprints. Nice 52 tops reprint there. Here's another gold card. This is of 2006 tops. It's the Indians team card. We've got lots of those, which is awesome. 
This is a green. Yep. ASA Bob Fell story green from the 80s. Here's another iconic card reprints. This is from 2019. You see the 150th stamp there. So this is the parallel version. That set's complete, by the way. This is numbered out of 99. It's from Immaculate Collection. What year? 2015. Immaculate Collection Accolades. It's a really good looking card. You can see the uh, strikeout numbers down there. It's an awesome card too. Well, let's read the back here. The, <laughs> the enclosed game used material is guaranteed by Panini. What does that mean? It doesn't really say that it ever wor was worn by Bob Feller, was ever owned by Bob Feller, was was even a jersey or anything. So uh, it's a tough one to see, but still a cool card. This is Topps Rib. This is numbered out of 40. So really low numbered stuff here. This is, yep, 2020 Topps Rip Mini. It's the inner part. This is the black parallel as well. So another cool mini to add to the collection. Here's a cool one. This is from 2001. So you have 2001 Topps Chrome Past to Present. This is the refractor version of Big Sexy Bartolo Colon and Bob Feller. Great shine to it. That's a good looking card. That's a really, really cool one. Got another gold here. Josh Naylor is becoming one of my more favorite active players. That's from 2021. That's a photo of him in the 2020 playoffs. And um, I remember watching at the time the 2020 playoffs of the Indians. They just did not do well in those playoffs. But Josh Naylor was the only person that really gave us hope in those playoffs. So it was a lot of fun watching. So that's a cool gold card. And we got Larry Doby here. So as I'm uh, branching out from my Bob Feller collection, I'm also going to start collecting a little bit of Larry Doby cards. He's obviously known for a lot of things for his, um, in part in being the first african-american in the american league to start playing baseball but you know he's also a military service member in the military which i also appreciate a lot that's why i collect bob feller mostly so I had to throw larry doby into the mix that's also a really good looking card that i got for way too cheap this should be worth way more but that's a cool one there this is from 2001 archives I love this card a lot i love the archive set 2001 archives base one there feller here's another mini from 21 allen ginter i think it's just a base mini yeah base mini short print 150 years of baseball, greatest moments, Bob Feller. 04 throwback threads, just the base there. This is numbered out of 1500. And we got a 2014 Chrome here, just a base rookie card. This card completes the 2014 Chrome set. So that's the last card. The 2014 Chrome set is now complete. Here's a really cool one. Boy, have I been trying to get a good offer on this one. And I think I bit the bullet and overpaid for it. <laughs> but it's 2012 Tops Tributes, the black parallel, numbered out of 60. Just uh, that's a good looking card there. Love this set. Trying to complete the rainbow of that. Uh, but the lower numbered stuff is really hard to come by. Steven Kwan, rookie debut gold parallel. Also numbered out of 2022. Very cool. And chasing history, Bob Feller. So this is just a very cheap insert. But this card right here completes the entire 2013 chasing history rainbow. I guess rainbow <laughs> is the incorrect term. I guess complete set is really uh, the actual correct term. And see here, pitching the gem, pitching a gem. Tried to pull this card myself, didn't uh, didn't end up pulling it from 2022. Alan Ginter. We have greatest seasons. Bob Feller. This is the blue parallel, not numbered, but there's the blue parallel there. This one is numbered out of 25, though. I mean, look at the shine on this one. My goodness. Wow, Bob Feller, uh, 2014 Hall of Fame. This is the green shield. Uh, it certainly doesn't look green. I'll double check. Oh no no no, it does say blue right there. Yeah, Panini's, uh, Panini's just got such weird wording on it, but that is the correct card. They didn't mess up. I've never actually gotten a mistake. Knock on wood, I've never gotten a mistake card uh, from Comp C. They just do such a really good job at quality control. Like You can see, here's the card. Here's the receipt with the photo of the card, with the barcode and the card number, or the item number that is right there. So you get the exact card that you buy. This is the 2003 Donner's Champions Metalized Parallel. I think this completes the, the rainbow for this. There's only three cards to the rainbow, so it's really short, but some low-numbered stuff there. It's a cool one. And then here's a really common card from 92, 91 Pacific. Just Nolan Ryan, Bob Feller. Pretty cool. Here's another Donner Studio. As I was saying, this is such a big set. I'm trying to complete it. It's numbered out of 50. It's the red, black, and white. There's like a, a red version, a sapia version, a black and white version, a colored version. There's blue. There's green. It, there's beige. It's, it's crazy the amount of combinations of parallels they have. Uh, kind of frustrating to be honest. Here's a 2019 Allen Ginter. That's just the base mini card. And then lastly from this little stack here is a 2014 Tops seat relic from old Cleveland Municipal Stadium. So there we go. I have a couple of those seat relics featuring Bob Feller. I think that's my third one in the collection. And we have our last chunk of cards here to be going through. Some good stuff. Really appreciate you guys tuning in, by the way. I love doing these uh, PC haul videos. 
showing the cards I add to my personal collection. So I really appreciate you guys uh, tuning in to enjoy it with me. We've got our greatest moments, Bob Feller. We just saw the base version. Now we see the blue version of it. And here's a cool relic. I've never seen this set before, but I love the design of it. 2008 SP Legendary Cuts. This is the blue version out of 99. Really cool stuff there. The reason I like this so much is because on most of these Bob Feller cards, you can see a lot of the photos tend to get reused for his cards. Like you can see in this card right here, this photo is actually being reused right there. And then you just see like the same five or six photos being reused on all these cards. This is a photo I've never actually seen of Bob Feller. So that's just the cool one there. And I love it that it's on a card and also just a really cool relic. Uh, we showed this one Donruss Greats, just the base Donruss Greats card. Nothing crazy. This one should be numbered, I think. Sports Legends. Yep, out of 250, it's the Mirror Red from 2008. Pretty cool. Uh, here's another Diamond Greats die cut. So I'm only two cards away from completing this set. We'll see the rest of these coming in. This is just the base card from that set. They have like a gold. They have obviously have the one of one in there. But uh, we'll, about, we'll, we'll see the rest of them show up here. Guardians of the Central, that's the gold parallel, which is also pretty cool. Jose Ramirez, Ahmed Rosario. Uh, we got, ooh, this is a cool one from 1994 Ted Williams collection. Love those 90s ones. Here's a black foil from 2019 Stadium Club of Bob Feller. That's oh, also a cool rainbow. Here's a, another cheap gold card of Shinsu Chu from 2012. Here's another of those Donner Studio portraits. This is, which one is this? This is the white, black, and white. I mean, isn't that just ridiculous? So it's the white the white border, and it's the black and white photo. It's it's so ridiculous. Number out of 30, though. And then we got a Jose Ramirez rookie card. Not really a rookie card. It's unlicensed, so it's from 2014 Panini Donruss. It's from the Rookies insert. Got, got this one for a steal. I think Jose is one of the most underappreciated superstars in today's game. He's so good. He is so solid. I remember looking up a stat last night. Jose has one less career war than Bryce Harper, but Jose has played about... 200 games less than Bryce Harper. And a lot of people regard Bryce Harper, Bryce Harper as on the track to the Hall of Fame. Right now, at least. We'll see how he does staying away from injuries. But Jose is up there as being one of those top superstars. So that's a really, really, really cheap rookie card. I got it for like $1.50. <laughs> that's crazy to me. Um, 2014 Panini Classics. Bob Feller out of 149. This is the silver? Yep, it is the, the silver out of 149. Good looking card there. Here's just another base gold, Travis Hafner from 2003 Tops. It's a cool one there of Pronk. Uh, this is a really, really cool one. Definitely overpaid for this one. 2022 Archives. This is the blue foil, number out of 25. I just, I really want to complete this rainbow for some reason, so I'm overpaying for it, but it's a good looking card out of 25. I, I definitely overpaid for this card, but I don't think I regret it too much. It's a cool one. Here's a Topps Chrome. This is from the Diamond Greats die cuts. Again, going towards that rainbow. It's not actually a die cut, though, so it's kind of weird for the Chrome. Uh, Aficionado. This is numbered out of 99. This is the blue foil. Blue hollow foil, I think. Yep. Hollow blue parallel. Uh, I did pull the base version in the pack break that I did of the Panini Diamond Kings. When it was a game from SP Legendary cuts out of 550. Cool one there. Top Sterling. I love the Top Sterling. That's such a cool set. It's numbered out of 50. This is the white. Yeah the white border really thick card but that's so sick <laughs> that's so cool out of 50 there another donra studio portraits which one is this this is the red so it's just the red <laughs> that set is so crazy maybe i'll put on the screen how many cards there are in that set because that's just so wild to me uh donra's threads from 08 i love this set this one's cool this number out of 250 this is the green yeah green century proof out of 250 there Good looking set. 2010 tops. Uh, Cleveland Indians team card gold. Number out of 2010. Got a Nestle Modern Era from 1987. Another Josh Naylor card from 2023 tops. This is the 2023 gold. It's a cool one. Um, Alan and Ginter. This is the black. This is not the X, right? Yep, mini black border from 2022. So we're really coming along with the 2022 Alan and Ginter. That's a, that's a rainbow that I'm starting to complete honestly we got another one coming up here another another card for the 2002 tops so I, I didn't realize that this card made the order so we're a couple cards away now from completing that set here's another allen and ginter x mini so again we're getting really really close to completing this rainbow and i think that's awesome we've got another donra studio portraits i mean this is crazy this is the uh certified materials red this is numbered out of 35 
not sure what it means. I mean, they're so similar. These are so similar, but they're different. <laughs> it's just crazy. Here we go with another Diamond Grades die cut. This is the black version. So we have the black, we have the base, we have the blue, we have the chrome. And I think there's a gold version and a red version. I think that's that's all that's left. But yeah, this one's obviously uh, damaged. You can see in the, the light there's like a ding right there. That's okay. I'm not too concerned about the quality. This is number 299, by the way, but I'm not too concerned about the quality of, of my cards too much, that is. Lastly, from this video, we got 2004 Playoff Honors numbered out of 1,940. There you guys have it. That's the video for today's uh, Com C haul. Lots of really, really cool cards to add to my personal collection. Again, I paid in total about 360 bucks for all of these cards. Uh, they were all on Com C, like I said. So I tend to buy and sell a lot of uh, <laughs> a lot of cards on the site. Com C is fantastic. I'm not sponsored by them, so um, please take this as an honest review of Com C. I talk about them a lot on my channel, but Com C is fantastic to buy cards specifically for your personal collection it's good because it helps save you on fees but it's also really good because you can have some awesome filtering options to help find the cards that you want for your personal collection so it's really easy for me to find unique bob vela cards to bolster up my personal collection so it's a great way um it's a great site to help me do that so again really appreciate you guys tuning in for today's episode if you guys did enjoy it please leave a like and comment down below which card was your favorite other than that really appreciate you guys tuning in and we'll see you guys next time